Scorpio placements, welcome to Sending Spiritually. So this is going to be for March 1st to the 15th. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. That means that all the messages are going to resonate. And if you like info on personal, my website is in the description box below. The gender of the cards don't matter. You may have to flip the roles. And if it doesn't match, it's simply just not your week. And someone else needed that message more. So I just got antsy all out of nowhere. So I don't know what you guys got going on, Scorpio placements, but... Maybe you should pause this video and go get a drink, smoke, do whatever you need to do because you're going to need it. Let's see what you guys have coming up for the 1st to the 15th. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Five of Wands in Reverse, Two of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. Okay. So someone from the past that really blew you off, this person, they didn't just stomp on you on their way out. They made sure that they burnt this bridge completely into pieces. And now that they have to do the walk of shame, it's like this person is realizing that they've not only made a fool of themselves, but they just made this whole scenario play out in such an unnecessary manner. And they're having to come back and clean it up or maybe even give you closure or some, some sort of truth. Some of you were dealing with the literal fire sign. If not... Leo Aries Sag is just someone that has those placements in their sign and they embody the energy of the Knight of Wands, which is somebody who can be very hasty. Yes, their energy may be like exciting and up-tempo, but they can be very fearless and confident and give off that energy of being self-assured and rebellious. Someone who could be brave, um, a free spirit of some sort. They like to travel. They're very hot-tempered, so they don't really stay in one place for too long. Um, when it comes to career, this is someone who's very ambitious. However, they change jobs often. They get impatient, frustrated, or it's someone who is in a traveling job of some sort. This individual, they're very arrogant and reckless in how they dealt with you. Their behavior was very volatile. And now the universe, it's like the, the universe has put a stop to this person's um, behavioral patterns, or they're trying to do that right now. But this involves them having to come clean or at least have revelations that how this person treated you they're realizing that the way that they treated you was just uncalled for. It seems like this person has a tendency or a behavioral pattern of just being selfish and only considering themselves, maybe having narcissistic traits if this is not a full-blown narcissist. But it seems like this person, you're the first person that's actually made them consider being empathetic towards other people and their other feelings and emotions. With the two of wands here, this person's coming back towards you because whatever they left you for did not work out at all in any way shape or form some of you this person had a baby on you they tried to go off and have a family with somebody else this person took your energy your time everything that you built into this relationship they were never 100 percent all in to begin with so you are in essentially investing in someone that had one foot in one foot out and you ejected out of the situation actually you didn't inject yourself the universe forced you to see things for what they what they were this was like some sort of rude awakening where you just woke up one day and everything was completely upside down you literally saw the selfish person for what it was that they were doing i feel like there was very many incidents and many times where you got stabbed in the back by this person because of their own selfish needs and wants this is someone that look at how this is like a woman that's positioned in a very arrogant comfortable manner so this person was comfortable at your expense you were the person fueling this individual's life even if it's not in a financial means maybe you didn't make as much money as them but you building this person up every day them using you as a safety net and a support system that has more value than anything any monetary you know digit or money or dollar at any given time that's what i'm seeing like this person they were brought into your life what was supposed to happen was that you guys were supposed to have emotional fulfillment in some way shape or form if this is a lover you guys were supposed to come together and have this happy union because you were fulfilling this person's cup but they just had this grass is greener on the other side syndrome where they felt the need to have options or this person was insecure so therefore they juggled you with multiple people multiple women this could have been a woman who was cheating with multiple men all along and it wasn't until, and the family knew about this so if this person's friends and family members just kind of distanced themselves from you they essentially had to pick a side you know who were they going to side with it obviously it wasn't going to be you because for one you may be the black sheep or the light worker people always 
for the most part try to gang up on you no one ever approaches you one-to-one -one. it's always someone attacking you in packs have you ever noticed that whenever you're getting attacked it's always in groups well this group it was a karmic group of people group of friends family members co-workers and they knew that you're somebody that had genuine pure intentions and instead of these people rising up and raising their vibration in order to match your level they decided to plot and plan and this is like some sinister calculated plan that these people had to extract whatever they could from you they knew that this knight of wands had no intentions of giving you anything solid or stable so they may have placed the illusion this knight of wands is an illusionist if they're not a straight up warlock or wizard this is a man or woman that's aware of your of their spiritual gifts well aware of them but uses them in a way to harm others and they've been doing this for a while i would say for four to nine years where this person has just been like on a rampage going around hurting people at the expense of themselves and their own needs and it wasn't until you came along look at how many people this person crossed someone at work possibly um a spiritual individual this in, this man or woman has crossed so many people and it wasn't until this last final nail in the coffin where this person crushed your heart in more ways than one this individual crushed your heart. You went through a lot of turmoil, a lot of havoc, a lot of internal conflict because of how this individual left you. And it wasn't what they did to you. It was the extent of how, like, catastrophic this manipulation was. It was, like, not just mental in manipulation, but also emotional manipulation. Some of y'all were isolated, and you couldn't even, like, explain what was truly going on because you also had not processed what was going on. Oh, man, this is sick. This person... This is like Ted Bundy level of, wow. Yeah, whoever you were connected to, this person, you guys were supposed to be a power couple together, bringing harmony and, you know, peace and love and kindness into the world. And they decided to use their spiritual gifts in a way to harm others, like I said earlier. And so now they're getting cut out by the universe. If this person is not going to physical jail, they're going to be in an environment where everything's going to be completely out of their control and they're going to have to realize it's like going through the hermit energy or just being in some sort of isolated state kind of like how you were initially when you first were pushed out or you know outcasted by this group or family remember how like you were distrustful of ev anyone or everyone and you just kind of needed to look out for yourself well that's essentially what i'm seeing this night of wands being in that energy where, where you first were that couple of years ago at the beginning of your journey this is what this night of wands is going through however their journey is going to be way more severe than yours was because they're dealing with a whole lot of karma not just from you the person that was the chosen one or you know a light worker that came in with good intentions not just you but everybody else that this person has crossed so the next decade is going to be harsh for this knight of wands and that's exactly what they deserve and they're gonna have to watch you go be happy and content some of you may not want kids you may want just to be someone stable with your business um be successful living out your dreams and this is what's being offered to you emotional fulfillment the universe is bringing something new in your life in the form of passion and creativity so as you work on healing your wounds as you channel the things that you went through because of this night of wands this may not just be one person it could be a lover that teamed up with like a friend a family member a unit look at how many burdens y'all were carrying on your own ten of wands you had to deal with so much some of you are still in this energy and if you you are in this energy just know that you can let go of all these burdens at any given time. You have a choice. You have a decision to make. The universe has been watching you all along. This situation, this scenario was just a lesson to teach you self-worth and boundaries. Not to be a doormat. Not to allow people to just treat you however. Whenever your gut tells you something's wrong. Whenever your gut tells you not, that you can't trust whoever you're connected to. Despite whatever is coming out of their mouth. Despite whatever actions they're showing you with petty gifts and hush money and whatever this person was doing or maybe it was just crazy sex or passion or the fact that this person found you at a vulnerable state and you didn't really have much to go off of because some of you came from um, foundations especially ch um, childhood situations where there was a lot of trauma involved and so you met this individual who seemed like they had good intentions but all along this person was just here to cross you and to teach you how to see beyond the illusion because the ace of swords is all about truth divinity power um discernment and as judgment is here you're making the decision to continue pushing forward and that's what's being asked of you because this knight of wands is coming back to you 
for their own reasons. Let's see why. This is my essential messages deck. You want to purchase that, the link is in the description box below. Let's take a look and see what do Scorpio placements need to know. If this was a friend, this person was a snake and they were jealous of every single thing that you had. They always tried to one-up you in some way, shape, or form. This person couldn't wait to gossip about everything that you confided in them. This was an individual that just had this green-eyed monster feeling and vibe over you. We have, I want someone else to explore other options, but this came out in reverse. So this person has realized they have gone through every single option that they had. They went out there and they explored it. They realized none of that energy is even close or even in comparison to what you gave this person, which was unconditional love. You were very patient with this nine of wands, well patient beyond what you even needed to be. With we need to talk ASAP at the bottom of the deck, this person wants to come in and talk possibly even whisper sweet nothings because they're still coming in as a knight energy. It could at least be a king or an emperor, which is someone who has learned lessons, is experienced. Can you give me another chance? This time will be different. I can't even make this stuff up. There's a lot of blue here. So this person affected your throat chakra in some way, shape, or form. They either made you feel like your voice didn't matter or whenever you spoke up for yourself, they always made it seem like it was an issue or they try to flip it around on you. I smile in your face and talk shit behind your back that's what this person was doing all along with their friends and family members this person was like gloating about how they were treating you the fact that they were abusing you and all of it was being seen nothing went unnoticed i'm here to tell you that i do this with everyone no hard feelings that's exactly what i was saying man this person they got hurt somewhere along the way maybe childhood and it turned this person cold their heart was completely black i'm talking about like void this is someone who does have the tendency or at least the inkling to become like a child or an animal abuser because of just like the fact that they their heart is cold the fact that they did this to you i was blind i'm sorry this came out in reverse this person is not apologetic in any way shape or form i don't i don't care what they're telling you i don't care whether there's tears coming down from their face when they come in and try to um blindside you again because they hate you and it's jealousy this person hates you and it's jealousy this whole group of people whatever this scenario was it all stems from jealousy and your light and the fact that you're you're pure and you have good intentions and what they want you to do is to invest your money wisely because some of you may have let this individual not only get in the way of your money but because they were draining your energy and your power like you barely had enough to just like eat Make sure your mental health was intact, let alone, let alone take care of your children. Or if some of you did have children with this person, man, bless your heart. And I'm talking to myself too because I do have someone in my life that has this energy. And you have to have firm boundaries at all times. If you have children with this side of wands, become familiar with the gray rock method. That's all I can tell you. With I'm intimidated by you, these individuals were all intimidated by you. So anytime they made those snarky remarks or they made you feel like there was something wrong with you or they nitpicked you or nothing you ever did was right, it's because of the fact that these individuals were jealous of the fact that you're a healer or that, or that you healed. This group of people could see your influence on the Knight of Wands, whether they wanted to admit it or not. This person was changing in some way. That's what stewed the jealousy amongst these people because they couldn't influence this Knight of Wands the way that they used to due to the fact that you came into the picture. So as the Two of Wands is here, you're choosing a whole new direction. Some of you are really wanting to travel, international, international travel, and I can see that the universe is going to find a way to make that happen, but you do have to meet them halfway. And whatever that means for whoever's watching, let's take a look and see. Scorpio placements. What do you guys need to know? Because obviously the past does not want to leave you alone. Nine of Cups in reverse. You're getting your wishes fulfilled. People want to come in because they're unhappy and dissatisfied with their life. Because then now they're realizing what your true value is. Because they don't have access to that anymore. And as they're in this energy, this is you. The Magician and the High Priestess, that combo is a sick combo. Somebody who can not only manifest anything that they want and has all the tools that they need at their fingertips, but someone who's also um, 
like a soldier of the divine. The divine gives you all of their secrets for the most part. You guys are like prophets of some sort. You're supposed to channel the knowledge that you have. And part of why this Knight of Wands was brought into your life was by like, just like you're of God. The devil has soldiers. This Knight of Wands was a soldier of the devil. Their job was to keep you suppressed and stuck so that you don't use your voice to speak up um, and be truthful and basically whistleblow the Knight of Wands because you saw right through this person's mask. This whole family unit, friend unit, corporation, whatever it is, you were the, you were the whistleblower in this dynamic all along. And they were trying to basically suppress you and make you seem crazy and gaslight you so that you couldn't speak up and that's your gift. The fact that you have the knowledge and the wisdom that you've gained from this situation, you could write a book, you could become a healer, you could read tarot and try to help people like get past the situation that you're getting through because there's a lot of like narcissism and sociopathic behavior in this world and just low vibrational energy and you have the experience because you're somebody who's lived through it and survived it. A lot of people haven't. And as the magician is here, it's telling you to hone in on your skills and use it as a way to manifest and bring happiness and joy into your life. Because as you do that, as you heal the, the planet, you're also healing yourself. This person is also reading a book. And the high priestess also has some sort of ancient scroll. So you could have access to the Akashic Records. Some of you guys are the Akashic Records. Um, it's like as you go through certain trauma and you, and you encounter certain people, they activate you in DNA codons that you have within your energy signature. I don't know. I sound like I'm blabbing, but this is going to make sense to someone. As the high priestess energy is here, there are certain demons that you have to encounter. So that they can trigger the power within you. To, so that you can really know how strong you are. I bet you, you didn't know how strong you were. Some of you, these people were even trying to get you to har um, harm yourself. As far as even like suicidal ideation. We have Eight of Swords. Like, this family's power is that they know how to use mind control. I don't know. In some way, shape, or form. That's what they do. They harvest people's energy through mind control or sex. It worked on you for a while, but you started to gain your strength and see through the illusion and unwind yourself from this bind because in a way you were voluntarily dealing with this person and allowing them in your circle. But the reason why you even did this to begin with is because they were a shapeshifter and they presented themselves to be something that they were not. It may have even taken years for this illusion to fall. This magician can even be dark magic because at the bottom, look, we have skulls and I just get like offerings and I don't get good offerings because someone may have even been wanting to offer or sacrifice you and unfortunately when you try to sacrifice the chosen one that is like the worst thing that you could possibly do ten of swords someone's going to end up passing away within this unit and the reason why that's going to happen is because they were essentially trying to do that to you and it's just like the boomerang effect you were dealing with some evil masterminds and these people at face value they seem like the nicest kindest people and it's not until you know them or you're in a relationship with them or you see them in closed doors that you can truly see like the demons amongst these individuals they're mostly all about control and ego the person that you were connected to they wanted to break you intentionally that's what they wanted to do because you were being resistant or you were refusing to become a doormat or to continue to become a doormat because at some point in time, you let the person that you were connected to steer um, the direction that the relationship went in. But once you woke up to the fact that, you know, this was someone shady and conniving, possibly even a habitual liar that has no sense of even like empathy for anyone but themselves, even though they portray a completely different image, they portray themselves to be someone who is like a leader. If this is a father, they try to pretend to be like a good father or a good mother. No, it's all an act. Everyone in their life is just supply. And as the Four of Cups is here, unfortunately, some of you have a hard time giving up on things. And this was a hard lesson to learn that sometimes some people are just worth giving up on, especially whoever you were connected to, because they were preventing you from either attracting lovers or a lover that truly cares about you, that's charming, that's romantic, someone who's peaceful, that's not trying to put you in the energy of anxiety, that's not constantly plotting behind your back. This is what they were causing you to miss. Opportunities in love, opportunities at work. This person could even sabotage you. If this was a friend, every time you gave them um, like 
an inkling of what you were going to do in the future like hey i'm thinking about buying this car or hey i'm going to go and get this place every time you told them something and it didn't happen it was specifically because this person was putting out the intention of sabotaging you like energy is powerful that's all we have is just energy and thoughts and it's best not to disclose your plots and plans until everything has been finalized because you will have people that will um trying to influence you and intentionally trying to cause you to miss opportunities, especially in love. So if this was a friend, they would intentionally cock block you from you getting a relationship because they knew that if you got into a connection that was true and genuine, it would pull them away from you. Very selfish individuals that I can see here. So let me get you. What is this um, person that you were connected to? What do they want to tell you? I know what I did to you was wrong, but I don't feel bad about it because this is my character. Bro. We already knew that, but thank you. When I'm having sex with them, I picture it being you because sometimes it's the only way to orgasm. Like I said, whoever this person thought was going to be better than you, whatever supply person they went to, whatever situation, they will never get that kind of high ever again. That's why this person will constantly be in search of you and other people. They want to tell you that you're not the one I see myself settling down with. I'm sorry, but I need, I need to be honest. I have too many other things on my plate to be able to focus on us. I don't know what I want yet. I'm still figuring things out. However, no one has made me want to change and become a better person like you. You guys may have also been dealing with somebody who was like bisexual or in the closet in some way, shape, or form. Or their sexual orientation was in question. Um, and that could have been an issue. And we also have you betrayed me too, remember? It's not all my fault. So there could have been an issue that came up where this person felt like you snaked them out. And that's what triggered them to even go through this rampage of trying to break your heart or be vindictive. And I don't know. But it was a misunderstanding that started this whole situation. And you're really going to throw everything we have away for that? How disappointing. And yeah, this person is obviously delusional because they still don't want to take accountability of what even led to this dynamic or things even going this far to begin with so let me get some additional cards transformation oh my daughter she's so upset right now change politics We are the world, intensity, and comparison. So this situation is not only going to change you, it's not only transformed you, but it's going to transform this person as well. It's going to create not just good karma in your life for everything that you've invested in this person, you're going to get it back. Just not from this individual. Now what they've invested in their life is catastrophic changes and this is like a typhoon, so I don't know what that's like, but I wouldn't want to be in that energy. This was someone that was the snake. They had this like double face that they wore with everyone. So not just you who didn't know who this person was, but no one around this Knight of Wands truly knew their identity. I don't even feel like they know who they are themselves because they wear so many faces and masks. And as the Five of Pentacles is here, it's like this person was going to leave you out in the cold regardless of however you treated them. And it, this was nothing of a reflection of what you're worth and what your value is and i feel like that's what you have to learn amongst this whole scenario as the ten of pentacles is here this is all about family um you having long-term stability heirs just opportunities coming in but you did have to go through a very harsh experience and even though this situation was intense it's going to serve its purpose because you're going to have a lot to basically teach other people do you see this guilt card and the fact that you have like these demons scratching your head this is what these people were causing you if it's not mental distress and like mental anguish maybe even mental illnesses you were dealing with people that literally wanted to attack your mind for one they had their own mental issues whether it was bipolar schizophrenia i don't know this is just what the card is saying so you were dealing with individuals that had mental illnesses and they were trying to project that onto you and attack you because you could see through them this is what they wanted from you control because they couldn't control you it's like all right well we can't control her then we're going to stress her out this is you having to juggle all of these we're going to stress her or him out burst their bu their bubble this is them look at them smiling look at these clowns 
these monkeys smiling as they're trying to burst your bubble here you are just minding your own business trying to juggle all of this that you're carrying um yeah sorry about that as the schizophrenia card is here in reverse you saw past these people they didn't want you to have your dream. Your dream was just to be surrounded by people that were loving, caring, and compassionate. And they treated you like the Cinderella. This looks like Cinderella to me, who was just treated like a slave. And these people just basically made you cling on to the past. They caused you to feel regret, remorse, sorrow. And it wasn't fair to you in any way, shape, or form. And the divine was watching all along. And they're laughing because everything that they set out to happen to you is about to happen to them and it's gonna suck this energy this ten of swords yeah you had protection while this was going on that's why it was it wasn't easy to get out of this energy but you did have help imagine having no divine protection at all whatsoever and they've helped you see through the illusion and as you continue to move forward they couldn't stop you from your destiny so that's the end of your reading like share subscribe leave me a comment and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day bye